Hello everyone. Today we'll be learning how to do manual patching in Jetpatch. During the course of the video, there will be pause breaks. It is highly recommended to pause and try out the feature yourself during these breaks. It's important to remember that Jetpatch patches at a group level. So there is no way a patch can be deployed to one individual endpoint at a time. This is only possible if the group contains only one machine. Let's jump into Jetpatch now. We want to start by heading over to Patches Catalog. Use the filters across the board to help narrow down on the patches you would like to patch. Remember, don't forget about more filters over here as there are plenty of useful things to filter on. Today, I'll be filtering on the important patches for Group B. I'll begin by filtering on Important under Severity and then Group B under Endpoints Group. To select all the patches, simply select this top box and they should all be selected. Take some time to go over what patches you would like to patch before we move on. Now that the patches are selected, it is time to create a plan. Let's start this process by selecting Create Remediation Plan at the top. Give a name and a description. If you would like to provide SLA details, you can do so here. Last but not least, if you would like to make this plan an emergency plan for zero-day patching, this will allow you to create a one-time maintenance schedule to patch the emergency vulnerability without having to change your entire environment. Today, we will not be addressing this. Let's save and continue. On the next page, we need to address that we in fact want to install all of the patches. Again, select the top left box to select all of the patches. If you are looking to roll back patches, this is where you would do it. As you can see in the drop down here, selecting bulk remove would start the rollback process once the plan has been activated. Today, I'll be using bulk install to install all of the patches I have selected. Let's save and continue. Now, the last step is to select the workflows for the group that will receive the patching. If you have not set up a workflow or want to learn more, please watch our video dedicated to workflows. Today, a reboot workflow will work, and I know I'm ready to create the plan. Now you have two options. Selecting Save Cycle will keep the plan saved as new on your remediation plan board, while Save and Activating the plan will activate the plan and start the process of your patch cycle. Let's simply Save Cycle for now and have a quick pause to let you set up a plan. Let's head to the Remediation Plans board to view where our plan ended up. You should be able to see your plan at the top of the new column. If you have chosen to activate the plan, the plan would have ended up in the pending column. In the pending column, the plan will stay there until it has been approved by your ITSM if set up, and the maintenance window has started. The last thing I would suggest is running predictive patching directly from your remediation plan in the new column before you plan to patch. This will make sure that there are no existing technical issues for the endpoints within your current plan. By selecting this icon, I can run it and make sure I am 100% ready to go. To recap, filter on the patches you would like to manually patch and then select them. Next, create the plan with the patches selected. Fill in the necessary information, go over the patches you would like to install, select the relevant workflow for the group you are using, and then save the plan. That's all for now.